Welcome back to News and Views. And as I was saying earlier, uh, Vijay Singh, the president of the International uh, uh, Zoological Society of Fuengarola. He's the president and uh, he's also alias Dr. Venom. And Linda Needham, the secretary, are here with us in the studio along with two monsters. And uh, the theme is uh, Safari in Africa. Welcome to the programme, both of Hello, you. Hello, Karen. It's nice <laughs> to be here again. How are you? I'm fine. Well, I've been a bit mm, like this because You're... you've been really, really active, haven't you? And just as we... <laughs> It is a he, yes? Yes, this one is. We're going to show you a female in a minute. Okay, and the, these are African monitor lizards? Yes, this is a, a medium-sized specimen of an African monitor it's lizard. Big. He's going to grow at least double this size when he's fully grown. Oh, wow. Mm. Wow. And what sort of things does he eat? They eat all sorts, from mammals to yeah. reptiles to insects to giant uh, land snails, all sorts, including some fruits and vegetables. Yeah. Um, but they're mainly carnivorous, are the monitor lizards. Um, these are the largest lizards are in they? Africa. Kay. Yes. They're also related to the Komodo dragon, which is the largest lizard in the oh, world. Oh, right. Mm. Yes, I remember that. So we're going to get him out of the way. What's his name? This one's called Trojan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this one's a male. He's one of a pair. And now we're going to show you the female. Okay. Oh, maybe he's a bit like that because the female's around. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> it's probably your perfume, Karen, isn't it? Yes, yes. it could be. <laughs> <laughs> and he's certainly very, very lively. Yes. I think he was... He's, he wasn't sure of the surface on, on the, uh, the desk, was yes, he really? Well, uh, we shining. actually, um, it, it's, it's a good thing for us because if he did have a grip on it, I would have been trying to hold him back and he'd be dragging me along. And he was so, coming towards me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's a good surface. But here we have a female who is much Aww. better behaved, um, a much younger female. And what's um, her name? Linda? Well, we call her Victoria, we decided, didn't Victoria, we? Victoria, lovely. That's a really nice name. There you go, very <laughs> royal there. And uh, obviously younger. Yes, um, this one again will grow to um, double yeah. the size of the monster we saw just then. Yep. So, um, again, she is a much younger specimen. I don't mind touching this one, shall I? Okay. Oh, yeah, lovely and dry. Long tongues, though. <laughs> I mm. just saw it. <laughs> well, monitor lizards Whoa. are quite primitive when mm -hmm. it comes to lizards. Um, they are related to snakes, that's why they have the flicking of the forked tongue and uh, this kind of beaded skin and a prehensile tail that doesn't detach when pulled. Mm -hmm. Not that we will try it today. No. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they have a long snake-like elongated body, um, which means that uh, um, they have this kind of primitive tendency. Um, the Bornean Elis monitor is one of the most primitive lizards in the world and there's a relation of the Varinids or the monitor lizards. I can hear the other one in the box. He's yeah, well he's, away. He's, he's, well he's away. wanting to get out now. <laughs> he wants to get at the female, I'm and, sure. And sure around, yes. Oh, and she wants to eat whatsoever in, whatever's in there. Yes, she probably <laughs> does, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, um, as I said, we are looking at field animals in Africa and when mm. we are working in the field, and as you know, I tend to work more with reptiles and invertebrates, yes. and that's why we have these reptiles here. I have specialised with working with monitor lizards for quite a few years now, and they are one of my um, favourite subjects to work on beautiful mm. animals. But we also have some interesting invertebrates for you as well. Okay, shall we in take a look at them yes, then? Yes, <laughs> why not? Do you have my tongs? Yes. Oh, it looks like it's going to be dangerous. Right. First of all, we will have a quick look at a little spider. Oh, no. Incy wincy spider. I remember what you told me. Some of the smallest spiders are the most poisonous, aren't well, they? Well, this is um, a theraphosid spider, so it's not very small. It is the Hercules baboon, one of the largest baboon spiders or spiders to come out of Africa. Mm -hmm. This is a juvenile specimen. But you will, you've seen in previous shows, I've had tarantulas such as the chili rose tarantula, That's which right. is um, pretty docile, and even you have handled them. Yes, I have. Okay, You're well, right. <laughs> just, to, just to be nice to you, today we have what we call a baboon spider, and baboon spiders, I think I've mentioned on a previous show, are aggressive. Okay. So these cannot be handled. And I'll just move back. We will just <laughs> kind of prod this one, and these, um, mm. as you can see, they use their fangs to bite, Ooh, yes. and you can see that. Um, these spiders also stridulate, make a hissing noise. Mm -hmm. And this is a juvenile specimen I saw it 
it's safer not to bring in the adult female. No, no, definitely not. <laughs> now, as I said, these spiders um, do get much larger because they are the largest spiders for, um, in Africa. And interestingly, um, because they're old world spiders, they do not flick hair, um, oh, abdominal like the, hairs, yeah. like the Goliath that we brought in last time. Yeah. That's because um, they rely on their aggression and their venom um, in, for their defense. Mm -hmm. They are reasonably venomous and can send you to hospital and you would be quite ill for some time if you were bitten by one several months. Okay, so um, they're, they're very poisonous. Yes, the venom right. can cause stomach cramps, um, very systemic effects and the necrosis of the skin, etc. and mm -hmm. really make you feel very Ill. Not well. <laughs> okay, let's get the lid on that one then. Okay. <laughs> I'll feel safe then. I'll and come then back you towards you, Virgo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. this looks a big one. No. <laughs> dead man's chest. Here we have the dead man's chest and it's locked today because look, there's something even more venomous in here. <laughs> in fact, if we are to be truthful, this animal has been responsible for killing people in the past. Oh, but it's...